All right, y'all, so I'm back with some sauce for y'all. So there's these few moments in YouTube history where there's glitches that happen and there's these, these opportunities that present themselves. And if you take advantage of these opportunities, you can grow an insane amount on the platform. So that's what we're gonna be jumping into today. One that I actually took advantage of. Um, I did it once before I actually live stream like live streaming when they first introduced live streaming and they started making that a big deal, making that a big thing on the platform. If you kept a 24 hour stream running, it would actually blow up channels. And I've done that before and gained like hundreds of thousands of subscribers in like 30 days. But this this one is actually it was pretty it was fairly quick. And I, I go into a lot of this stuff in my course. And also I'm gonna show you all way more than this, way more details and everything in the actual course. But we're, we're gonna jump into um, this video so I can actually walk you through everything. So um, yeah, like like these opportunities is things that you have to take take advantage of when they, when they occur. Um, let me refresh the page. I know uh, I'm, I'm gonna press F5, uh, refresh the page so you all know that it's not tampered with or anything like that but if you've seen any of my channels you know i'm not out here just talking so, so yeah that being said um let's jump into it y'all let's jump into it like so as you all can see this video 26 seconds 26 second video um well you can't actually can't see this a 26 seconds short it's a 26 seconds short and it got me 20 000 subscribers now the 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 big thing with this is the fact that obviously shorts when it first came to the platform it was very very powerful and shorts are still fairly powerful um but you have to know what you're doing and that's one of the things that i'll walk you all through if you um jump into the course but it's very very simple there's a few indicators that you have to look at to know exactly how your shorts are doing to know if your shorts are going to go viral or if they're not going to it's very it's very simple to do that. So as you can see, this one, this video got 3.4 million views. This is this is it's not the peak. It's just around the peak. Uh, um, in 2024, because this this happened this year. This I did this test this year. So in 2024, this is about the peak of the audience that I was going after. It's almost everybody in the entire audience. So um, everybody that's active anyway. Like the game was a lot bigger. But it's it's it obviously has you know died off a little bit. So that being said, this is why I was able to accomplish so much because literally all of my videos were hitting um, a, a huge amount of people you know from from the audience that I was targeting, and that's very simple to do. It just takes you know it just takes consistency and doing the right things, taking the right steps. So yeah, that being said, you see this video got three point four million views. And with the 3.4 million views, it gave me 20,000 subscribers. That's a big deal. Only 50 bucks. The audience isn't the craziest audience to go after if you're trying to, you know, go um go like go go based on YouTube ad revenue. Then you probably wouldn't want to target the audience that I targeted for this. But if you're just trying to get you know viewership, if you're just trying to build you know a channel up and things like that. Very 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 um useful thing to do. Um and also different different categories different things will pay differently because my business and finance channel my shorts actually the channel that you're on right now the shorts on this channel makes a lot more money than the shorts on this channel and i don't get nearly even close to this amount of views on that channel um and, and mainly because i don't actually attempt to blow up a channel i'm not attempting to blow up my channel using shorts i barely post shorts to be honest i barely post shorts on this channel that has actually blown up and mainly because it's just not really worth my time for the strategy and stuff that i'm working on for myself personally i could easily get back to doing the same thing that i've been doing but yeah so that being said when you see an opportunity like this you have to go you have to go hard on it you have to go in on it so don't sleep on the potential of shorts and when it comes down to creatively creating shorts that's going to appeal to the audience that you're that you're looking to um that you're looking to get into it's very simple you do your research on what shorts they're already watching what shorts they're already liking is it an audience where it would make sense to react to it would they like to see your reaction to it is it are you interested are you entertaining in that way if not could you use ai to actually improve your capabilities of making shorts is is that a you know is that a possibility can can you actually just use ai to help you make some shorts for your um for 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 the community that you're trying to target and then it just comes down to editing the the sounds and stuff like that and making it an actual good short i mean it's very very simple to do shorts 
or you could always clip experts potentially and use that. There's so many different ways to go about this and, and, and plan the shorts game, but it has to make sense and it has to be a strong enough strategy for the audience that you're trying to go for. And it has to be a strategy that is within your skill set, of course. And if certain things are not in your skill set in 2024, going into 2025, they definitely need to be. And one key thing that I keep pushing throughout my videos to you all is you need, you need, you need to be using AI. If you are not using AI, you are gonna be very, very far behind most creators. And I know most creators, especially those that's already established, don't waste their time utilizing AI to the fullest the way that they should be doing. But you can't compete, like, you won't be able to compete because, because, you all might not know what's coming and why AI is so important, but AI is getting to the point where it could potentially take over influencers as a whole. So this golden opportunity right now, YouTubers could be done for in the not so distant future. You, the YouTube, social media, all this could be done for. Imagine a future where AI can generate, uh, you know, a fake, a, a deep fake youtuber and create the perfect youtuber that says the perfect things and they'll 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 be able to see people's facial expressions how people are reacting to this content creator and just create create content in real time that the viewers are going to like watch and and that's going to keep people retained to at a rate where we would never be able to actually produce at that level this is the future we're moving into and i know it sounds crazy right now if you're not aware and if you don't research and you're not a part of what's actually going on right now but this is why i say you have to jump into it because you have a small window right now to actually make it on youtube become successful and get your piece of the pie before the opportunity has gone and that, that's actually why i made my course i don't want people missing out because they're sitting here trying to okay let me put five years into this and do it the hard way like that that makes no sense like you, you get the information that you need, you go at it, you build, build, build as quickly as possible. And that way in the next five years, you have a bag and you have a foundation to actually move into, you know, into whatever the new opportunity is at that point in time. You don't have forever to sit here and try to decide that, oh, I'm gonna learn this the hard way. I'm gonna, like, it took me 10 years, like over 10 years to get as good as I am on YouTube. And most content creators never get this good. Like you'll look at your Kai Sinatch, you'll look at um, I show speech, you'll look at people like that. And what blows these people up, I I'll actually make a video about that. I'll explain to you what makes, cause that's a, that's a good video. So that video is going to come, I'll explain, but keep this in mind. Most of those content creators don't know how they actually blew up. They just kept going and stayed consistent. So you sit here and try to ask a content creator like that, why they blew up or how they blew up. They'll tell you something They'll tell you they worked hard because it's, it's all gonna be true. They did work hard. They put in a lot of effort, they stayed consistent, but they don't actually know what they did. <laughs> so that, that being said, um, yeah, it, it's very important that you take these things um, and keep these things in mind, but this is what the shorts opportunity allowed me to do just, just earlier this year. And shorts still pretty much work the same. Um, I actually dive into all these stats and analytics. I'm not going to go too deep into it right now. I actually dive into this in my course. If you want to know more, if you want to take advantage of this opportunity, be sure to check out the course. I also do personal personalized coaching. I will literally walk through your entire channel and tell you everything that you're doing wrong, everything that you're doing right, things you should do more of, things you should do less of. I can literally walk you through the entire thing and explain it to you. And if you want to know my credentials, like I said, you can check out my channels. You, you can you can ask me more information. You can ask me whatever you want to see, whatever you want to know, because I can just make video. I don't, I'm not the type that likes to just brag about my accomplishments. If you have a question, I can just show you. Like I can show you that. Like a lot of people can't do that. They can't just pull out a channel and show you the analytics and show. Like look, this this is proof. Like I can do this with video after video after video after video on multiple different channels. So that being said, that's why I take the approach that I take where I'm not really out here trying hard because there's no need to try hard when you can actually do what you're saying that you do. And you actually can prove that you do what you say. Like nobody can sit here and say, oh, you don't know, like you, you, gained, you gained your audience 10 years ago. You gained your audience five years ago. You don't even know what it's like to grow as a YouTuber right now. Nope, I've, I've done it this year. I've done it like a few years ago. I monetized, in 2021, I monetized three channels in 30 days. I mean, I am up to date at, at all times. I really do this. So that being said, let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Helpful, hopefully you found this video helpful, but you have to take advantage. You have to take advantage of 
the opportunities that's presented. And there is a there, there's another killer opportunity going on. There, there's there's so many opportunities going on right now. And it's the last, this is the last wind uh, and the last moments for you to be able to come one of the become one of these influencers and for you to take advantage of opportunities like this. So don't wait. Jump on these opportunities. But there we have it. Let me know what you all think. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.